Welcome to the CPSC product registry training video. This video will demonstrate how to establish a new business account. Please note that the CPSC product registry is an ongoing development. Features and functionality are subject to change. Each importer organization should designate a primary business account administrator when preparing for e-filing. The designated business account administrator is responsible for creating and setting up the business account through CPSC. Refer to the video titled User Roles and Responsibilities to better understand the permissions and responsibilities of a business account administrator. After notifying CPSC of your intent to set up a business account, you will receive an official CPSC invitation email inviting you to set up your account in the CPSC product registry. Open the invitation email and click the invitation link. The e-filing product registry welcome screen will appear. From the welcome screen, click the Create Account button, review the legal notice, and click the Acknowledge button. In the Create an Account pop-up window, enter your first name, last name, and phone number. Note that the email field defaults to the email used to create your account and cannot be edited. This email address will automatically become your username after account creation. Click the Company Name field to view the drop-down list of registered companies. To add a company, click Create New Company. Note that any field with an asterisk is required field. Add the company's identifying information, including the company name, division, GLN, address, city, state or province, country, zip postal code, corporate phone number, corporate email address, and website. Note that the organization type defaults to Importer for Business Account Administrators. Click Save. Next, create a password and confirm your password in the designated password fields. Click Create an Account. You will receive a system-generated email titled, Please Verify Your Email Address. You will have 24 hours to confirm your e-filing account. Open the email and click the confirmation link. The system will complete the account creation process and return to the welcome page. From the welcome page, click Login. Review the legal notice and click Acknowledge. Enter your username and password previously created. Then click the Sign In button. Once directed to the e-filing dashboard, click the Set Your Certifier ID link in the To-Do List section. Create a unique certifier ID or use the system generated value in the certifier ID field. The certifier ID ensures that the correct importer is linked to the certificate of compliance that is filed in the project registry. CPSC advises that importers use a simple, alphanumeric, easily identifiable version of their company name that fits within the 23 character limit. Note that the broker will provide this unique identifier each time they file a reference PGA message set at the time of entry. Click the Save button to save your business's certifier ID and return to the e-filing dashboard. Congratulations, you've now successfully established your new business account in the CPSC product registry. Now that your business account is set up, there are a few recommended initial steps to take upon successful account creation. You will want to begin by inviting users to collaborate within the account, adding trade parties to enable easier product certificate entry, and initiating the product data entry process. To do this, refer to the videos under the user management and product management categories of this training module to learn more. Lastly, once you have completed the initial steps and have become familiarized with the CPSC product registry, it is important to understand the ongoing processes that take place within a business account. After the account creation process, it's the responsibility of the importer to manage their users, trade parties, and product data on a continuous basis and update their information as needed. Businesses must establish their own processes to ensure that their certificate data is being entered and managed properly to meet CPSC requirements. This concludes our demonstration of how to establish a new business account. If you have additional questions, visit cpsc.gov forward slash e-filing or email e-filing support at cpsc.gov for assistance.